Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up everybody, the Nintendo Beast here, jumping back into Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf here on the Nintendo 3DS, and it is Groundhog's Day. Isabel says, uh, hey, it's Groundhog Day. I have something for just this occasion, so come find me later. Alright, so, uh, speaking of Groundhogs, because I did want to include that little blip, blip of text in the beginning there, we're going to be attacked by a mole. <laughs> Rosetti, hey, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, my emulator doesn't save, well, doesn't allow me to save and quit, so that's why that, but, yeah. Okay, from Bangle, oh no, did Bangle move out? Why is everybody moving out all of a sudden? Like, new year, new me, everybody's m was just shipping out. Extra, extra to John. My moving day has finally come. I'm sure everyone will be a little lonely without their favorite star around, but it's okay. After all, I'll always be in your hearts. See you around, Bengal. Bangle, sorry. What is this? Oh, Gulliver sent me a letter and I never... Why am I just running around with an axe? Wait. Oh, that's not Bangle. I was gonna say, like, wait a second. We have an extremely rare captain's monitor for sale. Okay. Groundhog Day is tomorrow. If it's cloudy, spring comes early. If it's sunny, winter stays around. Uh, the groundhog is the only one who knows. So let's, uh... Let's consume the Groundhog's Day festivities here. Which is literally just this, I believe, right? And nobody else can be here today, unfortunately, because it's Groundhog Day. Oh, Mayor, today's the day we try to guess when spring will arrive. It's Groundhog Day. That's why I prepared a special little something to, cel to really celebrate Groundhog Day. I think it's the Rossetti model. It's a Rossetti model. Please take it in celebration of our town's Groundhog Day. That's what I thought. Haha! -ha. I wish I could get a better angle, though. <laughs> or, like, crouch or something. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you could do that. I knew you could do that, but I forgot somehow. Alright, so there's my, uh... There I am as Don Rossetti. And, uh, I believe that is literally all that, uh, this game has to offer for Groundhog's Day. <laughs> what do I have in my pockets right now? Not a whole lot of anything. We'll go fishing it then in two. I'm going to dig up some fossils, and then we're going to go fishing. So we're still on the hunt in this game for those two uh, size 6 ocean shadows, right? Uh, the oarfish and the tuna? Tuna. I think I always get the tuna and the blue marlin mixed up, but I, but I believe in this game it is the tuna that we're after. But I also don't want to miss an opportunity to potentially secure a fossil for the museum. It's all about the cultural development of Domo Burke. That's the important thing here. Any way we can culturally develop town is a big win. Huzzah. I like to run over them before I, uh, I dig them up, because I just really don't want to dig up a pitfall seed, because then I have to, like, dispose of it. I'd rather just fall in it, take the 
like three seconds it takes to climb my way out as opposed to like digging it up having it in my pocket wasting space and then having to like run over and sell it somewhere or or use it on somebody sometimes I like to do that <laughs> sometimes my neighbors will piss me off and I'll just have to you know push them into a pitfall seed you know the norm I mean, if the game, if Nintendo didn't want you pushing your fellow villagers into pitfall seeds, um, why are they in the game then? It's my question. Are they just as a as a nuisance? They're it, either either Nintendo intended pitfall seeds in Animal Crossing um, to harass the player, or they included pitfall seeds in Animal Crossing. Uh, okay, is one of these going to be legit? Or are they both going to be trash? Probably both trash. Yep, both trash. Um, or did they include... Or maybe this one's real. <gasps> Could this one be real? No. But, yep, no. They're both, they're both trash. Um, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, either they included it to harass uh, the player and to just be a nuisance, or... <clears throat> yes, I was hoping I would be able to do that. Um, or they included them um, so that I can harass my, my fellow villagers, right? My neighbors. <clears throat> this one's legit, though. This one's not... This one ain't no bamboo shoot. Yeah, buddy. I think that's all of them for today, too. I think there are, like, three a day. Oh, I got four, actually. So I would be willing to wager that that's probably the last one. Okay, so we need three fossils in this game. I explicitly remember that there are three outstanding fossils in this game. Because it's hard to forget because I've, I've had three outstanding fossils in my museum in this game for so long now. That is just... Come on, baby. Blathers. I'm gonna do these one at a time to build uh, drama and to build suspense. <clears throat> Blathers, my lad. Let's talk fossils, shall we? Let's talk fossils and let's talk about how these should be... Um... I'm gonna break it down one at a time, like I said. First fossil up, Blathers. Tell me what it is. That's not one that I need. I'm trying to think. Uh, there's an itchy, an itchysaurus part. There's a, um. <clears throat> I don't even remember. Maybe when I see it, if I ever see it. Uh, I'll remember off the- I know there's like an itchy- an itchy butt, right? Because I always make a joke about that. Like an itchy saurus, uh, tail or something that we need. Definitely don't need that one. There is multi-select, to clarify. I I'm aware that there is multi-select. I'm literally just doing this one at a time to build drama and to build suspense, hoping that there's one. <laughs> Because it's so fast and, like, gut-wrenching when he's just like, Oh, a couple you got here. Let me just inspect these. Yep, they all look really, really nice. In fact, we have all of these. Get out of my face. Yeah, no, that's not one that I need. That I need. <laughs> Alright. On to, uh... On to the last one. Should have just saved my time and just not done this. Should have just group selected them. Okay, yep. Oh. It wasn't an itchy butt, it was an itchy torso. Okay, donated. We did it, guys. The last one was one. Hoo hoo, this means. Yes, oh my, the itchy, the itchy sore, whatever, however you say that, is at last complete. 
Uh, the Ishisaur is surely an amazing creature. I apologize for any, like, paleontologists out there that are like, this moron can't pronounce Ithasaur, or, like, <laughs> I'm just calling it an Ichisaur, so leave me alone. Uh, what I love most is how, uh, I'm so sorry, my mind started to race with thoughts of the Ichisaur. <laughs> Anywho, I promise we will take Caxlan care of it. Okay, that's it, I think. We did it, guys. We're only two fossils away from a complete fossil wing in Animal Crossing New Leaf now. Okay, so I need a Tricera butt. A Tricera tail, right? I need a Tricera tail yet. I think I need, like, a mammoth skull or something. Or is that what I just got? Tricera tail in this room. And then that room's complete. I don't need the, uh, the itchy sore part anymore. So there's that. There's that. That one's complete. This is like an iguanodon over there. Alright, so what is it? Oh, the, uh, the, uh, the ankylo? Yeah, the ankylo torso. We need the ankylo, the ankylo whatever torso. Spinosaurus. Yeah, got that. Was this the itchy, the itchy sore? No, that's the apatosaur. My cat is just being a nuisance, as per usual, but it's very distracting. Goomba, can you stop flipping your food bowl, please? I'm trying to make a video here. Just chill out for like, I don't know, 20 more minutes? What are you... He dumped his entire water dish on the floor, and there's a puddle that he is now proceeding to mop up with his paws. Because he doesn't want me to come out there and find it. Goomba. It's okay, dude. I'll clean it up. Oh, whatever you're doing, just stop. Just, just please stop. <laughs> oh my god, he's still out there flipping his bowl around, though. I have the most broken cat. Anyway, this is, this is the itchy sore. Though they bear a striking visual similarity to dolphins. Itchy sores is itchy zipata. Yeah, eyesores, uh, were reptiles rather than mammals. Interestingly, adult specimens have been found with juvenile bones inside their, abd their abdominal cavities. This suggests that rather than laying eggs, uh, eyesores uh, gave birth to live young in the water. Oh. So though they were like, like weird hybrids of like... They were like weird hybrids of like mammals slash reptiles. They didn't lay eggs. They they had like live births. But they were still reptilian. So wait, wait, wait. So what what makes them a reptile and not a mammal if they don't lay eggs? I know there are a couple different things that like requirements to classify as a mammal. But I don't know, like, whales are mammals, dolphins, I believe, are mammals, I think that's what it said. So, dolphins are mammals. What makes the, uh, the itchy sore, or the eye sore, um, not a mammal, then? Cold-blooded, maybe? I don't know. Anywho, let me run inside, uh, TNT Emporium here. And see what there is for sale, but also to sell these fossils, these garbage fossils. I'm here to sell garbage. I want to sell garbage. <laughs> I'd like to sell this garbage, and this garbage, and this garbage. And I'd like to make a decent penny off of it if that would be possible. 7,600 bells. That seems weak to me. That seems like weak sauce, but we'll go for it. Sure. What's up, Leaf? I'm gonna run upstairs now and see what kind of furniture you got for sale today here at the, uh, the Nook Shop. I enjoy that robot clock. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is the, uh, the captain's what have you. Alright, pretty cool, but not interested. Bye, Nooks. 
me run on out of here. Let me skedaddle. I'm gonna skedaddle. Alright, so I guess it's time to go fishing, right? Crap. Let's go fishing. See if we I'm I'm stoked though. At least even if this fishing trip goes terribly, terribly wrong, which I'm sure it will. Because it always does. Um, but even if this fishing trip goes terribly, terribly poorly, at least we got that one fossil in there. We're down to only two fossils remaining, or, like, outstanding, in our museum, which is so exciting. There are just no fish at all, though. Here's a big old fishy. This is probably a sea bass. Did I say probably a sea bass? I said definitely. I meant definitely a sea bass. Look at this big old sea bass. Oh, yeah. Look at that glorious, glorious freaking green build sea bass. green lipped. I feel like all of these little tiny ones are uh, sea butterflies, and I'm still shocked at myself that it took me until, like, an episode or two ago to finally catch a uh, sea butterfly. Crap! I know for a fact that this was a sea bass, and the other- I tried to rip it out so it would scare it away, but it bit, and the other one next to it was a size 6, I'm pretty sure. And that's so infuriating to me. That I just blew an opportunity because of this sea bass. Sea bass just ruin everything. Sea basses. What's the, what's the plural of bass? Bass? Sea bass? A, a school of sea bass? It's not basses. That sounds stupid. But I hate them so much that maybe... I don't mind calling them sea basses because they sound stupid. All these sea basses. Just ruin everything. These gosh darn sea basses. I'm on the hunt down after big size six shadows. But yeah, I'm pretty confident that the one next to that one, the one next to that one was a size 6 shadow in comparison to the garbage sea bass that I ripped out of the water. And I thought it was going to be, like, it, it was the first nibble, so I was like, oh, just yank it out real quick. No big deal. It'll scare this one away, and then I'll go after this bigger one that I just spotted. Nope. The, sea, the god of sea bass. Uh had other plans for me today like to just catch a pocket full of sea bass i have the worst luck when it comes to uh when it comes to fishing though i will say at least in this game like i am a terrible terrible fisherman in all animal crossing games because i'm a bit of a spaz but like especially here in new leaf um the emulated version of it that I'm playing on my PC. I'm I'm especially bad. I don't know if it's just like ever so slight. Um, I don't know if my reflexes are that bad. Or if it's just like ever so slight like input lag. 
that I, it's like barely noticeable, but it comes out um, when I'm fishing, explicitly when I'm fishing, maybe exclusively when I'm fishing. I don't know. I don't know, but still on the hunt. We got plenty of time though. Plenty of time for a size six sea bass to resurface. If I were the developers of, of Animal Crossing, I would be a jerk and I would program it so like one in every, I don't know, one in every so many uh, finned fish come out of sea bass. Like, just to be a tr total troll. All these freaking sea bass, dude. That is Groundhog's Day. I thought we were turning over a new leaf here. No pun intended, since we're playing Animal Crossing New Leaf. But I thought we were turning over a new leaf here. And all we got it, but all we got for it is sea bass. Sea bass. Why do we have so many sea bass? I wish you could multi-select uh, to release sea bass. Could you imagine just like a shotgun release of sea bass? <laughs> like just r dropping a pocket full of sea bass into the ocean. All at once. Or just like... Even if it wasn't like a shotgun blast, it could just be like a, a like a fully automatic like ba 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 sea bass sea bass sea bass sea bass, you know like just get them out of my, get them out of my pockets. I don't. I don't know. I just don't want any more sea bass. That's I, that, that's what it boils down to. I just don't want any more sea bass. Are sea bass this plentiful in the real ocean? That's my that's my curiosity. Like, do people go just go diving for sharks or whatever, or like whale hunt, whale watching? I guess whale watching doesn't really include fishing of any kind, right? But hey, we got a fish. It's a sea bass. Sea bass. I was that one. See that one. I genuinely thought that it might have been a size six. It was kind of hard to tell in my mind. It was not. It was a sea bass, but unless it was a size six sea bass, which I don't think exists, but maybe it does. I don't know. In this cruel, cruel world of Animal Crossing, a size six sea bass, yeah, probably fit. Probably exists. Like I said before, there probably does exist a finned sea bass as well. The rare finned sea bass. No less a pain in the in the bass. Ho 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 ho! What a dad joke! A pain in the bass. <laughs> Get out of here, stupid little fish! Can't you see I'm trying to catch big fish today? See, it, it's just so hard to tell. When you see a size 6, you're like, that's definitely a size 6. But when you see a size 5, you're like, eh, that could be a size 6. Even though, like, in your the back of your mind, you're like, it's probably not. But, like, you think to yourself, oh, that could be a size 6. So then you reel it in. And then guess what? It never is. It's never a size 6. So, like, after reeling in a couple of the sea bass that I did today... I'm starting to feel like I like the, the size six that I scared away or that I lost last episode might not have even been size six. It might have been all an optical illusion. Size six shadows might not even exist. These fish that I'm hunting for might be a farce. Who knows? 
killed two birds with one stone on that one, ripped its sea bass out of the ocean, and I also scared away a little shrimpy fish either, or two. <laughs> Get out of here, tiny fish. Be gone. There's no fishing bait in this game, is there? That's strictly a New Horizons thing, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and I guess Pocket Camp, if you want to go that deep into it. I think that... Well, no, there's no there's no bait. There's just like a net, right? There's a fishing net that works kind of similarly, where it just like spawns a bunch of, of fish or whatever. Spawn it. You know what I'm saying, though. You anybody who's played uh, both Pocket Camp and New Horizons kind of sees the similarity, probably, that I'm referencing uh, between the net in Pocket Camp and the uh, yeah, the fish bait in New Horizons. There's really not that much of a similarity, other than basically like you're guaranteed a fish to spawn with the the bait. And you're guaranteed, like, a pocket full of fish uh, with the net. It's kind of the only similarity, I guess. You know what? Just forget that I said anything. Just forget that I even made that comparison. I guess, now that I really think about it, the comparison doesn't really add up the way um, I thought it did. So, just... Hindsight is twenty twenty. Just forget I said anything. Just rambling, because there are no fish. Why are there no fish all of a sudden? The ocean was like, you got greedy. You took all of the sea bass, first of all. How dare you? Leave some sea bass for everybody else, and I say to the ocean, Gladly! I'll gladly leave sea bass for everybody else. I don't want them. But then the ocean's also like, How many fish did you scare away? Because they weren't the right size. Now you get what you get, which is nothing. Says the ocean. And I say to the ocean, again, that's fine, I guess. That's fair. I'd rather see nothing than having to scare fish away, you know? It's just kind of frustrating. Having to... And sometimes they just won't go away. Sometimes you really have to put in some effort to scare them away. And that's just annoying. That's just tedious at that point. Let me dump some sea bass in the ocean. Maybe I can catch them again. Release this sea bass. Release that sea bass and uh, and this third sea bass over here. So I'll re release all three of these sea bass and then I'll f go recatch them all right now. It's just a big game of catch and release sea bass. That wasn't a sea bass. Probably. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'll be, you know, hunting for a tiny fish next month and I'll catch a tiny sea bass. Who knows? The sky is the limit with these sea bass, man. This is a sea bass, if I've ever seen one. Boom. There's one of the three sea bass recaught. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to my pocket, sir. How about y'all just get out of here, though? You, you go away. That other one, I, I don't know where it went, so I'm just going to keep walking. Stupid tiger beetle. Get out of here. Just disappeared into a cliff. Is that a fish I saw out there? No. Sometimes the, um... Just the waves... Uh, trip me up a little bit, which is embarrassing to say, but like, I'm just like, oh, what was that moving out there? Was that a shadow? And it's like, no, that's a wave. There are many of them. Constantly. With the exception of that one, um, I don't think I've seen a, six, a size six shadow the entire time. And even that one is questionable. 
I think I just romanticized that one because I because I lost it. So I'm just, I just tell myself like, oh yeah, that was the one. You know what I mean? The one that got away. But genuinely, I haven't blown it. Like I haven't lost a fish this entire time based on poor fisherman skills. Um, all the big fish that I've pulled out have been just you know sea bass. So. Maybe it's too late in the day. Maybe I, I blew it. I thought they were both all day fish, though. What was it? The ore fish and the tuna? I thought they were both all day fish. Maybe I'll check that in a second just to confirm. Because like I said, I have not seen a single size 6. This is a, this is a sea bass for sure, too. <clears throat> okay, I've, I've successfully recaught all three of those sea bass. The ocean was barren. I could not find a single fish. I dumped three sea bass into the ocean, and I caught three sea bass after that. So let me, real quickly. I'm done fishing now. It's it's too late. But, uh, let me just really quickly pull this up. This fandom wiki up for Animal Crossing. And see where we're at. Fish, new leaf. So we're going straight down to the tuna. Yeah, all day for the for the ore fish this month too. And then for the tuna. Yeah, all day this month. They go away. That one goes away after March. The ore fish is around all year, I think. Oh no, it's not. It goes away after like sometime in the summer. But anyway. That's where we'll leave off this month, this month, this month, this week. Sorry, I was thinking about different months of when fish come out. And I'm just... Let me start over. That will wrap up this week's episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf here on the 3DS. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every single month. And when I upload new video content, such as this, every single weekday, uh, I upload new video content every weekday, Monday through Friday of every single week. So make sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Like I said, smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.